Happy Monday vlog. Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Spent the weekend down in San Diego, heading back. Not feeling all that great. Need a little pick me up. Hopefully that does a trick. Time to head back up north. <laughs> Made it home. Hello. Code. Hey bud. I'm back. First off, I know a lot of these vlogs have kind of been just me talking to the camera. I apologize about that. I need to shave. There's not as much action as compared to when I'm in Uganda in the factory and everything. But that's actually gonna change pretty quickly because drum roll, I'm going back to Uganda in India. First off, I wanna share this video that I made the other day with the messenger bag. Did a little stop motion, trying to figure out different ways we can incorporate video into the products that we can host online to kind of show people how the bags function, utility of it. So check it out. This is definitely going to be kind of just a short update video, sorry, but the reason being is that I bought my ticket for the trip to India and Uganda last night and I leave Wednesday in two days. I got a few things to do. And also I'm still not feeling that great. <clears throat> the reason for doing this trip now is, well, really it's that next step for what we need going forward. We're shifting our strategy a little bit. You know, the initial focus was really to focus online to get traction there. That's why the big focus on our website, which is really good, but as a new brand, it's really tough to kind of break out in the online space, especially for leather bags that aren't the cheapest things. And also with leather, there's so many fake leather, there's cheap leather. Online's gonna work, but it's gonna take a little bit while to get that momentum. We've definitely had some wins, but we're shifting to kind of get set up more for wholesale because the bags are awesome, the price makes sense. And I know in a retail environment, they're gonna do well because people, customers can feel the product, see it and evaluate it for themselves, which, it's money. So to get set up for wholesale, we're expanding our product line a little bit. Got a couple new designs to kind of work on. First one is going to be kind of like this backpack. Also doing another sort of tote, more like a shoulder bag, but it has a zip enclosure. A little bit smaller than our bigger bare leather tote. And also looking to do a men's wallet. And with any new items, I really need to be out in India to kind of work with a manufacturer, make sure we select the right leather, make sure the design is on point before I sign off in a large order. Then I was debating, do I really need to go back to Uganda? Because of the video and some of the stuff we've been doing, I've been getting a lot of traction in Uganda, a lot of people who want to meet up, a lot of people who want to buy adventure bags. So actually looking to kind of do a meetup. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to plan that out, um, but definitely want to meet with a number of people that have kind of gotten in touch with me over the past month or two. You want to go to a retail store, want to take uh, maybe like this drawstring bag, go to a couple retailers, see what they like. Because of the, it actually has fabric and half leather, it's a cheaper price point, um, something I think we can definitely get into stores in Uganda. Um, and there's a retailer that I know of. You know, so many Ugandans want to support, make success successful, but what I also realize is like they desire so much to have products that are made in Uganda. They take so much pride in their country and they want to see stuff made in Uganda. They're sick of stuff being made in China. It's kind of like we're, we're sick of it here in the US. And then I want to meet back up with Roy for doing that drawstring bag. And then I want to get a lot of video content. I actually want to sit down with Roy, kind of have him share his story. I want to kind of get some of the workers on camera. We'll see if that works out. I really want to kind of hear their stories because people in the States, like they want to know the stories. They want to understand what's going on. So definitely want to get a lot of content. Um, for the vlog, but then also for marketing purposes and other things. So the vlog's gonna get a lot more interesting. It won't just be me here talking, but... And the reason for doing this trip so soon is that my brother and his family are coming out to California. Um, my older brother, he and his family live in New York. Um, they come out to California once a year, um, and they're coming end of May. I really want to get back. My niece and I, we got a lot of plans. My nephew's cool. Hope. David, you're, you're awesome too, but, you know, you're two. You're gonna get real fun soon. Don't worry. We're gonna hang out like he understands the vlog, but you will one day, David, thinking about you. 
And yeah, so doing about 10 days, 11 days in Uganda, then almost a week um, in India. So it's gonna be a quick trip, hopefully get a lot done. I think that's pretty much it. Wait, did I miss it? Did I miss a spot or two? <laughs> Wouldn't wanna look like an idiot on camera. <laughs> So that's pretty much the update, so you guys kind of know what's going on, what's up next. Lots of travel, lots of work, excited, let's go. Oh yeah, just sold another bag. Come on, Venture, let's go. Wait a minute, I smell something. Cookies. Wait, where was I? Boom. Got another order today. Come on.